Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here, also known as Mokujin21. A lot of you liked that stat screen that I had on my NZXT S340 Elite and you wanted to know how you can do it. The good news is it's super easy to do and it shouldn't cost you more than $50. Of course, it depends on the size of the screen and it also depends on the accessories that you might need. This one here, the seven inch screen. I decided to go for something a little bit smaller and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Plus, I'm gonna show you what accessories you need to have the best, most comfortable and easy to use build. Let's get started. Let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna need. First of all, of course, you're gonna need a monitor. They come in various sizes from 3.5 inches up to seven inches that I recommend. This is the seven inch version and the one that I have right over here is the four inch version, which I think is the best and most optimal size. So there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Some of them need their own power. Some of them also have touch screens, which means that you'll need to plug it into a USB port in order to power that touchscreen. I didn't really care about the touchscreen and I obviously wanted something that would completely be powered off of the HDMI port alone. That's what I've done over here. So if I take this a little bit closer, you'll see that on the right hand side, we've got the HDMI port plugged straight in. So that means we're gonna need actually a couple more things. A, HDMI cable, and I recommend that you focus on a couple of things. First of all, if you can get a flat HDMI cable like this, it's gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to bending it and putting things um, into little tiny crevices and holes. Also make sure that you buy one that is long enough. If you want to make your life so much more easier, then consider buying something like this. These are different um, angled USB um, attachments. They come in two variations, the 90 degree and 270 degree. The difference is, if you pay attention to these little bits over here, the 90 degree has the bend. Let me open this up real quick. Has this bend that is right over here on the top and the 270 has this on the bottom. So bear this in mind, it is very important. If I did use this, then obviously I wouldn't be seeing this. Now what I chose over there is actually an ultra thin HDMI cable. So I didn't need to use the bend and because it came with this chromish looking plug apart, so it actually looked really good and I wanted to show it off. So if you did, you could use that. There's also another alternative if you want to save on space. This is an HDMI ribbon cable, yes, and it literally is just a ribbon, and what you can do is you can take these little attachments and then you just clip them on. And of course, this will make your life so much easier in terms of saving space. After I've gone and decided where I wanted that to go, I was gonna have to run the wires through. So let me just change the camera angle real quick. So after running it through the little hole in the front, I then took this cable, as you can see, it's thinner than normal HDMI cable, and I ran it through this special slit or opening. This is one of the things that's great about the S340 Elite case because it has this um, pass-through wire so that I can use it for you know VR gaming because it's got an HDMI in the front, but obviously I can run more things through here. Then I took this cable and I connected it to my graphics card right over here. Now automatically it just turns on so there is no on or off button and all I needed to do was make sure that I either had this as an extended display or I could have this as a duplicated display but of course I didn't want to do that because I wanted to have this just for the stats. What I did next was here is my cam stat screen as you can see all I did was move it to the right and then I placed it over here. Now I can choose what stats I want. I can choose the, the, the color scheme that I wanna go with. That's why I really do like the, the cam software. Let me go ahead and show you an example of this in a whiter layout. I like the dark because I just think it makes it so much easier to see. Now one of the things I've done is I've emailed or messaged NZXT and asked them, please help allow us to customize the different monitoring uh, displays that we have over here and to change the size so I could have this full screen. So hopefully in a few future update, they will go ahead and do that. Now of course you can also go ahead and choose whatever software you want, whatever stat monitoring software you want, and that will make your life easier. Couple of things to also mention. You'll notice that on the left hand side right over here, you can 
can see the board itself. What I would recommend is 3D printing or finding a case that, uh, or a cover or a frame that you could put around this so you could hide it and make it look so much better. If I went ahead and I chose this seven inch screen, you'll see that this is actually quite big. So let me just put this over here. This would have been so huge and would have been going over this bar over there. This is, might be something that you're interested in. In fact, if you wanted to, and you were feeling more adventurous in terms of uh, modding, you could definitely put this in the front right over there if you wanted to cut it open. It would look beautiful. But again, if you go ahead and do that, please share that video or the photos with me because I would love to see that. Next up, I should also mention that I'm working on a little project with a company so that we can take these SSD trays and we will have custom built screens that are the size of this. So all you would need to do is screw the screen onto the SSD tray and then slide it in and it'll work. And obviously it will be great with NZXT cases, but hopefully it'll work with everything else. You just need to make sure that you choose a PC case that this will work on. Also, I wanted to mention another extra thing, and that is that if you take a look at the board itself, all you would need to do is cut off these little tiny bits if you wanted to not have them stick out. So that's basically it. Yes, it is super easy. I know that some of you might have been like, wait a minute, I thought it was gonna be really hard to do. Nope, it's that easy. And of course, you'll find everything, as I said, in the description below. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because thumbs are free, but they mean a lot to me. And of course, if you wanna see more of these videos, I'm gonna be releasing them on a weekly basis on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Take care.